Hey guys, Dennis back with another brand new video. So in the last video you saw us split all the wood with the Barreto log splitter rental from Home Depot. So today we're gonna be grinding down all of the stumps from the trees here. And I rented this Barreto 30SG stump grinder from Home Depot. Um, it is 230 bucks for four hours and then it's 330 for the full day. So I'm gonna show you how to unload this start it up and everything so here are the controls here's your choke here out is obviously choke on your key that they give you goes here you have your throttle here slow and fast and then I'll show you the controls once we get this offloaded and start using it um, so to take this off of here there is this chain come along now to get this off this ramp actually tilts back and there is a latch right here and you have to so I just put my foot on here and it kind of counterbalances this you pull this back and then just like that and there is also a chain on here this one's taut so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this up we're gonna actually drive it forward a little bit to put some slack on that chain all right so I'm gonna show you how to start this so I'm gonna put this probably about middle here for the throttle. I'm gonna pull our choke out. And we're gonna start it. And we'll push our choke in. Before we can move this forward, we have to raise the cutting head on here. As you can see, it's actually resting on this little piece that's mounted to the front of the trailer here. So to raise this, use this control here and you want to actually press down to raise it. It's opposite of what you think. So I'm going to press down to raise. And we're going to use both of these controls to bring this forward a little bit. And that should be enough to get the chain off. Yeah, so we're loose now. So I also want to mention there is a parking brake on here, on and off. And you want to Put this to off before you start backing it up because it's not going to move. And you just pull your controls back, try to get it up as evenly as possible. So I'm going to show you the operation now. Um, first off, you want to make sure you, you have safety shoes, ear protection, and I'm going with this grinding mask here because um, these things do tend to throw some stuff back at you. Now to engage the blade, you pull this trigger and you hit the button.
right, so this stump is done here. It took about 12 minutes to do this in real time. Uh, I know I sped it up for the video, but it was about 12 minutes, so not too bad. I think it was about maybe a 12 inch round stump. So we're gonna tackle this one next. I think we have eight total to do today. show you guys here right I'm grinding these stumps it flung this rock right here all the way from over there so just be super super careful I mean it, it flung this thing like a like a pitching machine Alright guys, so we got this maple in the front yard here. Oh, and by the way, this thing will destroy your yard since it's like 2,000 pounds. So if you uh, go to turn it, it is kind of when it starts ripping up your grass. We did this 36 inch maple in the back here. This is an absolute disaster. We got a lot of raking to do. It made quite a bit of mess to be able to get um, everything out so I actually went probably about two foot to the outside of the stump just to make sure I got any roots and to make sure that um, any kind of rise in the grade was gone and then we did the three cedar slash ewes in the back here and then we had three spruce in the front this guy here that one was an old stump that was here when I moved in and um, it was pretty rotten so it actually came out really really easy all these other ones were all green wood so we got this guy and then the first one when I first started shooting the video I'm gonna show you how to load this back on so also make sure that you do clean this because there is a cleaning fee if you return this thing dirty so Basically all we did is we pulled the pin on this guy. You wanna put it on that keeper here. And then all we're gonna do is make sure that the stump grinder is raised all the way. So we're gonna start it up. So you wanna make sure it's raised all the way and to the right. You just wanna go slow, take your time. I actually have it on low speed. As you hit the tipping point of this trailer as this is climbing on, the trailer will automatically tip forward and then we'll latch it in place. Just get it to touch. You don't want to like crush this thing, right? Because you'll probably 
probably bend it. All right, then we can shut our engine off. And then we're gonna hook our front chain on first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna turn this back on and I'm gonna back it up until that chain is tight. We want this thing on here super tight. We don't want it falling off when we're driving. Oh, and before we put the come along on, you wanna put this parking brake on. So all you do is just pull it down. Come along here, basically just goes in this channel here, if your trailer looks exactly like this. And then we need to run our chain through that hole and that hole. So we're tight. And that's all there is to getting this back on the trailer. Pretty sure this thing holds five. Um, and we used what it came with. We used another five and probably another two. So we used about 12 gallons to do, um, what did we do? We did one, two, three, four, five, six, eight stumps in six hours. Not bad considering, right? So. I ended up having to pay, well, I'm going to end up having to pay the full rental fee, which is no big deal. It's still only $330. Um, there is an insurance, like a protection uh, charge on here. I believe it was $35. Um, and then whatever the fuel ended up running me, probably 30 bucks. So uh, even $430, I got quoted very close to $3,000 to do these eight stumps from a tree company. So totally worth it. Thanks for watching guys. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe and the bell button so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thanks for watching guys.